Experience is the knowledge or mastery of an event or subject gained through involvement in or exposure to it. Terms in philosophy such as empirical knowledge or a posteriori knowledge are used to refer to knowledge based on experience. A person with considerable experience in a specific field can gain a reputation as an expert. The concept of experience generally refers to know how or procedural knowledge, rather than propositional knowledge, on the job training rather than book learning. The interrogation of experience has a long-term tradition in continental philosophy. Experience plays an important role in the philosophy of Søren Kierkegaard. The German term Erfahrung, often translated into English as experience, has a slightly different implication, connoting the coherency of life's experiences. Certain religious traditions, such as Buddhism, Surat Shabd Yoga, mysticism, and Pentecostalism, and educational paradigms, with, for example, the conditioning of military recruit training, also known as boot camps, stress the experiential nature of human epistemology. This stands in contrast to alternatives, traditions of dogma, logic or reasoning. Participants in activities such as tourism, extreme sports and recreational drug use also tend to stress the importance of experience. The history of the word experience aligns it closely with the concept of experiment. <laughs> Types of experience The word experience may refer, somewhat ambiguously, both to mentally unprocessed immediately perceived events as well as to the purported wisdom gained in subsequent reflection on those events or interpretation of them. Some wisdom experience accumulates over a period of time. The one can also experience and gain general wisdom experience from a single specific momentary event. One may also differentiate between for example, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, vicarious and virtual experiences. Topic. Physical Physical experience occurs whenever an object or environment changes. In other words, physical experiences relate to observables. They need not involve modal properties nor mental experiences. Topic. Mental Mental experience involves the aspect of intellect and consciousness experienced as combinations of thought, perception, memory, emotion, will and imagination, including all unconscious cognitive processes. The term can refer, by implication, to a thought process. Mental experience and its relation to the physical brain form an area of philosophical debate. Some identity theorists originally argued that the identity of brain and mental states held only for a few sensations. Most theorists, however, generalized the view to cover all mental experience. Mathematicians can exemplify cumulative mental experience in the approaches and skills with which they work. Mathematical realism, like realism in general, holds that mathematical entities exist independently of the human mind. Thus, humans do not invent mathematics, but rather discover and experience it, and any other intelligent beings in the universe would presumably do the same. This point of view regards only one sort of mathematics as discoverable, it sees triangles, right angles, and curves, for example, as real entities, not just the creations of the human mind. Some working mathematicians have espoused mathematical realism as they see themselves experiencing naturally occurring objects. Examples include Paul Erdős and Kurt Gödel. Gödel believed in an objective mathematical reality that could be perceived in a manner analogous to sense perception. Certain principles for example, for any two objects, there is a collection of objects consisting of precisely those two objects could be directly seen to be true, but some conjectures, like the continuum hypothesis, might prove undecidable just on the basis of such principles. Gödel suggested that quasi-empirical methodology such as experience could provide sufficient evidence to be able to reasonably assume such a conjecture. With experience, there are distinctions depending on what sort of existence one takes mathematical entities to have, and how we know about them. Emotional Humans can rationalize falling in and out of love as «emotional experience». Societies which lack institutional arranged marriages can call on emotional experience in individuals to influence mate selection. The concept of emotional experience also appears in the notion of empathy. Spiritual 
Newberg and Newberg provide a view on spiritual experience. Topic: <inaudible> Religious. Mystics can describe their visions as spiritual experiences. However, psychology and neuropsychology may explain the same experiences in terms of altered states of consciousness, which may come about accidentally through for example, very high fever, infections such as meningitis, sleep deprivation, fasting, oxygen deprivation, nitrogen narcosis deep diving, psychosis, temporal lobe epilepsy, or a traumatic accident. People can likewise achieve such experiences more deliberately through recognized mystical practices such as sensory deprivation or mind control techniques, hypnosis, meditation, prayer, or mystical disciplines such as mantra meditation, yoga, Sufism, dream yoga, or surat shabda yoga. Some practices encourage spiritual experiences through the ingestion of psychoactive drugs such as alcohol and opiates, but more commonly with entheogenic plants and substances such as cannabis, salvia divinorum, psilocybin mushrooms, peyote, DXM, ayahuasca, or datura. Another way to induce spiritual experience through an altered state of consciousness involves psychoacoustics, binaural beats, or light and sound stimulation. Social Growing up and living within a society can foster the development and observation of social experience. Social experience provides individuals with the skills and habits necessary for participating within their own societies, as a society itself is formed through a plurality of shared experiences forming norms, customs, values, traditions, social roles, symbols, and languages. Experience plays an important role in experiential groups. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Virtual and simulation. Using computer simulations can enable a person or groups of persons to have virtual experiences in virtual reality. Role-playing games treat experience and its acquisition as an important, measurable, and valuable commodity. Many role-playing video games, for instance, feature units of measurement used to quantify or assist a player character's progression through the game, called experience points or XP. <laughs> Subjective Subjective experience can involve a state of individual subjectivity, perception on which one builds one's own state of reality, a reality based on one's interaction with one's environment. The subjective experience depends on one's individual ability to process data, to store and internalize it. For example, our senses collect data, which we then process according to biological programming genetics, neurological network relationships and other variables such as relativity etc., all of which affect our individual experience of any given situation in such a way as to render it subjective. Immediacy of experience. Someone able to recount an event they witnessed or took part in has first hand experience. First hand experience of the you had to be there variety can seem especially valuable and privileged, but it often remains potentially subject to errors in sense perception and in personal interpretation. Second hand experience can offer richer resources, recorded and or summarized from first hand observers or experiencers or from instruments, and potentially expressing multiple points of view. Third-hand experience, based on indirect and possibly unreliable rumor or hearsay, can even given reliable accounts potentially stray perilously close to blind honoring of authority. Topic: <laughs> Changes through history. Some postmodernists suggest that the nature of human experiencing, quite apart from the details of the experienced surrounds, has undergone qualitative change during transition from the pre-modern through the modern to the postmodern. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Alternatives to experience. Immanuel Kant contrasted experience with reason. Nothing, indeed, can be more harmful or more unworthy of the philosopher, than the vulgar appeal to so-called experience. Such experience would never have existed at all, if at the proper time, those institutions had been established in accordance with ideas." 
These views of Kant are mirrored in the research of ideasthesia, which demonstrates that one can experience the world only if one has the appropriate concepts i.e., the ideas about the objects that are being experienced. Writing American author Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote an essay entitled, Experience published in 1844, in which he asks readers to disregard emotions that could alienate them from the divine, it provides a somewhat pessimistic representation of the transcendentalism associated with Emerson. See also Customer experience Empiricism Experience economy Experiential education Experiential marketing Ideasthesia Perception Thrill Wisdom hashtag Confucianism, reflection imitation experience References, <references>